Coach, there's going to be several first-year starting quarterbacks at the Big Ten this year, maybe more than I can remember in recent years. What was your strategy when you were starting a first-year quarterback? Yeah, I've worked with quarterbacks really my entire career, and I was one of those guys that that's the one position that you play after he's ready. You know, the other positions, I always would say push him in the fray, get him out there. You know, you always worry about corner because they can give up, up an easy one, but all other positions, receiver, even running back, even running back, but quarterback's that one position because I've experienced it. When I was an assistant coach, I saw a quarterback, and I won't say where, but I, I saw a quarterback, a great, not a good player, great player, they got thrown in the fray too soon, he lost his confidence, and it was a day-to-day -day in practice. And, and that's the one position that I've always delayed putting him in the game. Or if you do put him in a game, like you said, a first-year quarterback, slow that thing down. I mean, you, you rely on, you tell your staff, I'm going to rely on our defense, the run game. Don't let this kid lose his confidence. He loses his confidence, you're going to impact the team. And I'm not talking about for a quarter or a game. I think for several games. So, Coach, before we watch the tape, let's share with us what you know about these three quarterbacks. Let's start with Graham Mertz, who's starting for Wisconsin. I know a lot about Graham. Graham was a top 25 recruit in America. Uh, the number one drop back quarterback, I believe, was in 2019, coming out of high school. And we, we offered him. We offered him the scholarship. I went to his high school, great high school, great high school coach. I was very impressed when he walked out. As good a player he was, you're almost even more impressed what kind of person he was, leader, great size to him. I remember Ryan Day and I, we went after this kid. He picked Wisconsin over Ohio State. And uh, uh, when I watch this film, I see exactly what I saw in high school. Well, this, uh, this is a great example of two things that uh, we look for. Is obviously, when you start talking about release point, a release of a quarterback is when your mind says, throw the ball, how soon? I mean, what's the actual... But boom, does it take to come out? That's why you see a lot of college quarterbacks that are very good. When they get the NFL, often they struggle. And I never really understood this until I talked to a lot of the scouts because everybody is fast in the NFL. Right. The higher level you get, it's all about speed. Everybody thinks it's about size. It's about speed. This is a great play to evaluate a quarterback. So he's going through his progression. You can see he's looking at the number two receiver going down the middle field. But now he slides in the pocket. And the minute his mind, as soon as his eyes come to the number one receiver on the bottom, you're going to see the ball come out immediately with great velocity, great release point, and a very good accuracy. Another great evaluation tool for the quarterback. How fast can he get to his second look in a progression? His first look is the tight end. And the quarterback is staring at the middle linebacker right on the top of the W. On well, the top of the W, middle linebacker, that's basically his movement key. His movement key is going to clamp the tight end. All right. The minute he clamps the tight end, he goes right to the number two. Watch how fast he gets his ball out. So it's boom, falls out. Coach, there's a lot of excitement for Joe Milton at Michigan. Has the reputation of having a strong arm, just hasn't played a whole, whole lot. How much do you know about Joe? Well, I saw him up close and in person on the field in the horseshoe in 2018. And so normally what you do, teams are warming up. I would always just walk over and watch their players. And, and I remember watching this giant quarterback <laughs> and watching. I, I actually was mesmerized because the ball was coming out fast. You could hear it whistle in that stadium. Obviously, he's a very, very talented guy. I mean, I saw it up close, and I was like, my gosh, look at this guy. And then you watch his videotape, and you can see some of the strengths that he has. All right, Jerry, here we go. This is the new quarterback of the Wolverines. Big, athletic dude, great arm strength. But with development comes pocket presence. And you can see right here, his, it looks like his read is over here to the quarterback's right, the bottom of the screen. He gets off it quickly. For, he must feel the rush on the left-hand side, and he kind of panics. He steps up, but you can see, once again, his athleticism, his size. He turns into a minus play into a plus play. However, what you would like to see a quarterback do here is settle in the pocket, step up, and throw the wide-open guys. Well, first time we went through this, Jerry, this caught both of our eyes. This, first of all, was a heck of a throw and a catch. So this would be considered a back shoulder throw by Milton. The receiver does a great job. He spins around. You'd, you'd like him not to do that. But once again, you're just talking about, at this time, this was last year, second year in the program, a young quarterback. When he makes a decision to throw the ball, watch how fast this thing comes out. And it's a missile. From my perspective, I think he's got everything. He needs the reps, like every quarterback, right? He just needs to play the game. 
Spencer Petras looks like he's going to start for Iowa. Looks very similar to some other Iowa quarterbacks in the past. What do you know about him? I don't know a lot about him, but interesting, you know, you say Iowa, you have Wisconsin, Iowa, and Wolverines. You know, three top programs breaking in new quarterbacks. So it's going to be interesting. I just don't know a lot about him, but the film I've watched, it kind of fits the system. You know, they usually have a very good run game. What do you do when you have a good run game? You have a play action or a break contain pass off of it. Once again, the accuracy, I like the ball. It's, it's, I like the fact it's coming out quick. You left shoulders on the target, but you just need to get this ball out in front of them, not behind. That's the hardest catch for a wideout once on the back hip. So get the ball out in front so he doesn't have to break stride, but obviously uh, this is a big part of Iowa's offense. First time starter at Iowa, you can see this is a quarters beater where the quarterback is reading the safety over the top of the tight end. Makes a great read. He feels him clamp. I'm not sure if he feels the pressure to get the ball out a little bit too quick, but we would tell the quarterback, give it air and get it to the hash mark. You have outside leverage on the corner, so give it some air. So I would want him to throw this to the bottom of the O in the end zone. Is this the expression, throw the receiver open? Throw the receiver open, very good.